Yo, I'm so excited. Serato dropped some fire. What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, we're gonna talk about Serato's newest feature, which is a Twitch extension. I'm gonna show you how to set it up, how it works, how to use it, so you can use it on your next Twitch stream. I can only imagine what virtual DJ offices look like right now as they're trying to copy this feature from Serato. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Everyone. So just a couple days ago, Serato announced their Now Playing extension that works directly with Twitch that allows you to have a little box, little thing like an overlay on your stream that tells all your viewers what song you're playing at that time. Now I'm personally really excited about this because a lot of people that watch me on Twitch are DJs, and I get questions all the time. What was that one song? What was this one song? And like I'm kind of an open book. I don't really like protect my bangers. You know, I don't. Get a shit. I'll send it right to you if you need it or I'll tell you what song it was you know I'm not like you know one to really give a shit about that sort of thing so safe to say I'm pumped as shit about this people so let's talk about how to activate this how to set it up so you can use it at your next stream in order to use this feature you first have to make sure you do these three things number one you got to be connected to the internet while you're streaming while you're DJing number two you have to be using some type of hardware it doesn't matter what hardware whatever controller mixer whatever you use with Serato it doesn't matter but you have to be using hardware hardware, it won't work with Serato Play. And number three, you have to have your Serato updated to 2.4 or later. Right now, as I'm recording this video, the newest is 2.45. I recommend doing that. I mean, I have that. I think it works great. I kind of always keep my shit updated, but if you're a little sketched out about new updates, if you're one of those guys, as long as you have 2.4 or later, you're good to go. So if you're not updated to 2.4 or later yet, go do that first and then come back and I'll show you how to set this up. Easy peasy. So you got Serato opened up. You are updated to a at least 2.4 so you're good to go now the first thing you have to do is enable live playlist so what you got to do is go to settings click on expansion packs click on Serato playlists and then click the check mark to enable live playlists and you're good to go now the next step is we got to download the extension so you first want to go to twitch.tv log into your account real quick so I'm gonna log into this bad boy Ugh, damn security all the time. That's three, four, nine, two, four, eight, nine. Yeah, remember me, please. Anyway. All right, sorry about that. So now we're logged into Twitch. So you want to go down here to your creator dashboard. Shut up. Creator dashboard. Go down here to extensions. And we are going to have to find the Serato extension. So just search Serato here. Bang. Serato now playing. Click install. Uh, yes, we'll con configure it now. That's fine. Now, before we link it, I just want to show you guys how you can configure it. It's really easy. It's super cool. Um, basically, you can choose the size of it, right? So you can see down here on the screen, you know, how big it would show up. I like the medium, honestly. You could choose where to put it, right? So top left, top middle, you know, where, wherever the hell you want it to be. I'm gonna do bottom left for mine. You can adjust the scrolling speed, so you can make it go really fast, you can make it go really slow or whatever. I'm thinking like right there. This is where you can adjust the stream latency compensation and make sure, you know, whatever song's showing on the screen is the actual song you're playing. And then you can choose all the different colors and stuff, which is cool. So this is, all right, so this is around here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one because my stream, like everything's like that color. I like the white, I like the black text. That's not gay, you're never gonna be see that shit. So yeah, black text. And then, and yeah, look, you can do emotes. How cool is this? So yeah, I'm definitely just gonna do these fire emotes. You can make them rotate too and flip down here. So they'll like rotate or the flip. I just feel like it's too much movement though. I'm just gonna do mine just like this for now. I'll probably adjust it later, but whatever. I like this. So we're gonna save changes. And now let's link this bad boy. Now you just wanna scroll on up and copy that link up on top to your clipboard. We got the copy. Now we're gonna switch over to Serato and this is how you activate it. So you wanna go to history. You wanna go to start live playlist. It's gonna come up with this. It might come up with a screen the first time you do it. Just say like, you know, don't show it again and yes, you're down, right? Then you wanna put this in there and link the account. Bang, now you are currently linked. And the only thing you have left to do here now is just basically you start the live playlist, right? You wanna start it 
And then uh, this is going to be your live playlist for like today. This is the day I'm recording it and whatnot. And uh, it'll be activated in your Serato. That's already started. You're good. You're connected. Now we're almost there. The only thing we have to do now is head back over to Twitch. Go to your creator dashboard. Back to extensions, my extensions, and then click activate in the Serato now playing extension. So it's all activated. You want to set it as overlay one. At the time of recording this video, you're only allowed to have, or you, you know, it can only have one overlay as a Twitch extension. It's probably going to change, but you know, that's how it is now. So you have to make sure it's set as overlay one. If you have another overlay, it won't work. You have to make sure it's overlay one, and that can be your only overlay if you're into this sort of thing. And that's it, people. Nice and easy. The only thing you have to do is before every live stream, before you're about to go live, when you bring up Serato, you want to go to your history, hit start live playlist. It'll bring you to the little website, and then hit start live playlist again. It'll connect and make sure you're all good. And that's it. That's all you got to do. You're connected to internet. It'll just automatically put the thing on your screen. Now, it's going to be a little bit of a process kind of like figuring out like the timing of it there is an adjustment section in the configuration of the extension so you can adjust like you know a 15 second delay up to a 30 second delay for you know when the song pops up on the screen that way it's accurate you know what i mean because it's got to travel like from your computer to the interwebs to the twitches you know it takes a little bit of time so the default setting is 15 seconds i'm gonna try that shit out first and then see how it works you know so i'm gonna do like a whole testing of it the first hour of my next stream which is gonna be this tuesday at 9 30 p.m which by the way i stream every single Tuesday on my Twitch at 9.30 p.m. And there's other, you know, streams I do in between there. But Tuesday is my night, people. So I'd love for you guys to come out and see me. Tuesday night's like my weekend. So I basically pour a drink. I play whatever songs I feel like playing, interact with you guys, and have a great-ass time. It really is a lot of fun. So definitely check me out every Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. on my Twitch stream. And of course, if you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button. I drop videos all the time. And I'm on the road to 10K. That's my next goal. And Man, that would make me happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys at the next one.